So what will it take to bring justice to our wrestlers? Should the government be reaching out to our wrestlers? Is there an end game at all in sight? Joining me now is one of the country's leading sports journalists, covered several Olympics. Norris Pritham joins me. Joining me is Kirti Singh, legal convener, Edwa, the left backed uh, outfit. I'm also joined by uh, Amitabh Sinha, lawyer at the Supreme Court uh, and has been associated with the BJP. And I am also at this moment being joined by Ellen Rao. He is a former Deputy Commissioner of Police in Delhi. The road ahead, what's the way forward is the big question that's being asked. Keerthi Singh, do you believe that the wrestlers are justified in calling for the arrest of Bridge Bhushan Saran Singh? There's a legal process, there's a police inquiry going on. Can you short circuit that police process by simply saying, arrest Bridge Bhushan Saran Singh, we won't leave Jantar Mantar until then? The point is Rajdeep. I believe that they are totally justified and it's one month mm -hmm. now since they are pro protesting and they want justice because the process as far as they have seen has not been just to them. They had to go to the Supreme Court and only there did, they, did the uh, government agree to get register the FIR. The bogus inquiry that was set up uh, to mm -hmm. look into their complaints didn't let them even uh, give their complaints properly, minimize their complaints, and they were heckled for it. And they were told that uh, this is, uh, it was no big thing. The point is that these six girls, who are the pride of our nation and of our country, have been mm -hmm. uh, subjected to physical sexual harassment. So it's not a simple joke, including a minor. Mm -hmm. And a minor, uh, uh, under the POXO Act, the minor's uh, case comes under uh, Section 10, which punishes a person from a, for a minimum of five till seven years. So the point, uh, the, 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 the police is not at all justified in no, the not process, arresting the process. Bridgushan, who on the no, other no, the hand... Process. Can you, no, no, can you demand, the process, no, no, ma'am, can you demand arrest, can you demand arrest until the inquiry has to be completed surely and then you can, based on the inquiry by the police, they will arrest or not arrest an individual. Otherwise, are we saying that you are guilty till proven innocent? Yes. No, we are not saying. There are, uh, there are situations in which uh, people after the filing of FIR can be arrested. That is, if the police has reasonable grounds to uh, see mm. that the uh, crime has been committed and they had the report of the uh, so-called inquiry committee before it, they have the FIR of six of these people. There's a young girl. Mm. This, this seems like a serial sexual harasser. Plus, when you talk of process, if a person can tamper with the evidence, then obviously you have to put him in custody so that he doesn't go and then start saying that I'm going to have so-and-so yatra or, uh, you know, uh, uh, and then when his mm -hmm. people are all the time intimidating these girls. You see, they are intimidating. So they are not allowing mm -hmm. the procedure to... Um, carry on as it should. The police have acted in Mr. a partisan Rao? manner. So therefore, okay. they are asking for the hmm. arrest. Yeah. Let, let me stop you for a moment. Sorry. Okay, let me, let me stop you for a moment because we have a police officer, Mr. Rao. Mr. Rao, the Delhi police is being accused by women activists and by the wrestlers of behaving in a partisan manner. That here is a case where they have been making these allegations for a while. They first did the protests in January. They had to then go to the Supreme Court and the Supreme Court directed the Delhi police to file an FIR. Otherwise, because it is a powerful MP of the ruling party, it seemed that the police was reluctant to file an FIR. Yes, Rajdeep, uh, uh, this is uh, um, like this that uh, I will uh, answer your questions in two parts. Number one part, uh, when the police did not register an FIR in this mm -hmm. act, and uh, because after the Verma Commission in nine, uh, 2013, there was a clear indication that if there is any com complaint of any cognitive offense under POXO and a rape or something like that, the police has to register the affair immediately. And the further investigation is to be carried out. Now on the second right. part, 
after registration of this case that the Supreme Court uh, was not to, to be involved in that for getting the order of uh, registration of uh, the police should have done at their own. But after that, uh, registration of an FIR, the prerogative mm -hmm. of arresting a person, whether he should be arrested or not, that is totally entirely on the investigating agency. Whether they are found any any plausible evidence to um, uh, say that he was actually involved in that case, number two, mm -hmm. where if, is he, uh, if he is uh, not arrested, will he be a threat to the investigation, or he will, will he be he be uh, destroying any evidence or threatening some witnesses like that? No, he will be a threat, Mr. Rao. He is a very powerful man. No, no, Mr. Rao. This is we are talking of Bridbushan Saran Singh, six-time MP, someone who in the past has been. Uh, uh, arrested under TADA for harboring terrorists linked to Daud Ibrahim, someone who has self-confessed to murdering someone on camera. Are you telling me someone like that cannot intimidate these girls? Surely yes, the I police I, needed to I, act I, much faster and needed to give protection to the wrestlers. Rajiv, I'm not saying that he cannot, but I'm saying as per law, what is what should be done? Now we have to see whether he can do or not. The, he cannot do. That is a separate mm -hmm. thing and then that also depends upon the evidences or any complaint or any um, uh, 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 that uh, any any sort of uh, uh, allegations that he is right. threatening, to whom he is threatening, when he is threatened. All these things have to be taken care of. Only then he can be arrested then. Uh, and uh, again, okay, I do you, do you have, do you, arrest. okay, Kirti, Kirti Singh, okay. Okay, Kirti Singh, do you have any yes. proof? Do you have any evidence that there has been threats and intimidation? Do you all have records of calls? No, because a lot of this at the moment is one allegation being made by the yes. wrestlers, but yes. many of them are unproven. When you say that the girls are being threatened, where is the evidence? There, there is evidence. The calls will be there. There is evidence. Should the police even try to gather it? I mean, the police hasn't done so. It hasn't even taken a 164 statement from Bridge Bhushan. It is letting Bridge Bhushan roam the country, organizing uh, yatras and uh, organizing demonstrations to, for, to, in his favor. I mean, there mm -hmm. is a limit because all these girls have spoken in front of the committee. They have given detailed evidence of places where they have mm -hmm. been, uh, you know, uh, subjected to sexual harassment in hotels, in other places, uh, where, wherever in the office of Bridgefusion. They have given the name of people who have facilitated mm -hmm. this harassment. It's not as if they haven't given details. And it's not, and, and the young girl who, uh, who okay. is not even, uh, uh, who is a minor, she certainly has also said and given details. So it's not that. And the threats are being given to them. And what's more, why I say the police are partisan is because actually the police, mm -hmm. on a day when it was raining heavily and these wrestlers who had been out in the open tried to get in some uh, makeshift beds, the police stopped them and there was a ruckus. Even the Delhi uh, State Commission chairperson was picked up by the police and shoved into the car as if she was a very lawless person and was doing something atrociously okay. wrong. So it's not as if, you know, the Delhi police Ma has let not me, been... Let, uh, me, let me for a know, moment once again uh, acting, stop you. Uh, you're you're uh, making... You're, you're, you've made that point again. You're claiming, ma'am, just a minute. You're claiming that the police has acted in a partisan manner. You're claiming that there is evidence of calls which have been, uh, which these girls have received, that the Delhi police should go through the call records of Bridge Bhushan. But I just want for a moment to turn to Amitabh Sinha. Amitabh Sinha ji, you are a vakil, you are a BJP, 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 दूसरी तरफ है ये ओलंपिक एथलीट्स जिन्होंने देश को गौरव लाया है क्या कहीं ना कहीं आप मानते हैं कि कोई ना कोई प्रोटेक्ट कर रहा है इस इस, इस बाहुबली नेता को ऐसा लगता है कि एक तरफ सरकार कहती है बेटी बचाओ बेटी पढ़ाओ और वही सरकार एक बाहुबली नेता जिस पर गंभीर आरोप लग रहे हैं उसको प्रोटेक्ट करने की कोशिश कर रही है कोई भी मंत्री भी नहीं आता इन 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 रेसलर्स को मिलने के लिए जब कोई अवार्ड होता है कोई इन, ये रेसलर मेडल लाते हैं तो सब उनके पीछे जाते हैं आज कोई उनके साथ नहीं है क्यों क्या वजह है क्या सरकार क्यों ब्रिजभूषण शरण सिंह को प्रोटेक्ट कर रही है राजदीप जी धन्यवाद आपने मुझे बोलने का मौका दिया एक तो सबसे पहले मेरे ज, मेरे जो बारे में आपने दोहरा परिचय दिया उसकी आवश्यकता नहीं थी यहाँ मैं एक 
कानून के विद्यार्थी के नाते एक लीगल प्रो, प्रोफेशनल के नाते मैं यहाँ आया हूँ और यही आपके गेस्ट कोऑर्डिनेशन ने भी मुझे कहा था पार्टी का परिचय वैसे भी देना अभी इरेलीवेंट है क्योंकि ये मामला बहुत ही ज्यादा चूंकि यहाँ पर महिलाएं लड़कियां इन्वॉल्व हैं और खास करके वैसे पर्सनैलिटीज हैं जिनका की अपना एक इमेज है देश में और विदेशों में भी दे हैव वन मेडल्स फॉर द कंट्री लेकिन एक चीज ये बताइए कि कोई भी व्यक्ति कानून से ऊपर नहीं है एक बात तो ये डॉक्टर तो मानना पड़ेगा कि कानून से ऊपर कुछ नहीं है कानून यानी कि जब जुडिशियरी के पास ये गए इसमें एक बहुत चेन ऑफ इवेंट्स है मैं उस पर नहीं जाऊंगा क्योंकि अब उसका कोई मतलब नहीं है जब सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने इन सभी चीजों को ऑब्वियसली बहुत ही कायदे से बहुत ही सिस्टम से उसको एनालाइज करने की कोशिश की और उसके बाद जब उसने कोई एक अपना फाइनल क्लोजर दे दिया इस वर्डिक पे और उसके बाद मुझे अफसोस ये बात है कि जब सुप्रीम कोर्ट का वर्डिक आया तब तो उसके बाद इस पूरे प्रकरण में जो आ, जो जो मैसेज दिया गया जो तुरंत स्टेटमेंट आया कि वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द प्रोटेस्ट आप एक और सुप्रीम कोर्ट आप गए सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कुछ इसका मतलब शुरुआत में आपको कोर्ट पे जुडिशरी पे भरोसा था लेकिन जब कोर्ट ने जो भी अपना वर्डिक दिया जो भी दिया मैं उस पर भी अभी जाने का विषय नहीं तो उसके बाद आपने तुरंत घोषणा की कि हम प्रोटेस्ट पे जाएंगे तो ये बेसिकली रूल ऑफ लॉ या डेमोक्रेसी नहीं है तो मोबोक्रेसी है मोबोक्रेसी यानी कि भीड़ तंत्र अब आप ये बताइए कि जंतर मंत्र से कानूनी फैसले होंगे क्या आपको ये जानना चाहिए कि जो भी व्यवस्था है उस व्यवस्था में जो 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 इन्वेस्टिगेशन है उसमें कॉग्निजेबल नॉन अवेलेबल ऑफेंसेज होते हैं बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मेरी बात जो है वो मेरे सामने स्पष्ट है सॉरी आपकी बात मेरे सामने स्पष्ट है कि उसमें जो मैम है जिन्होंने लड़कियां और नाबालिग और ऐसी बहुत ही इमोशनल पॉइंट्स रेज की हैं देखिए कानून में इमोशन की अपनी जगह जो है वो बहुत सीमित होती है उसमें तथ्य होते हैं और मैं ये बोलूँ की यदि इन्होंने बहुत मेडल ला के और उसके बाद नाम किया तो भी वो एक मिनट एक मिनट राजदीप वो कानून से ऊपर नहीं है वो जो रूल ऑफ लॉ है वही चलेगा यदि वहां पर सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने देखा कि जो इन्वेस्टिगेशन हैं वो अपना काम कर रही हैं इन्होंने जो अपने स्टेटमेंट दिए बंद लिफाफे में सुप्रीम कोर्ट में उसको सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने इवेलुएट किया उसके बाद उसने ये लिफाफे लिफाफों को पढ़ने के बाद में उनके चार्जेस को पढ़ने के बाद में उन्होंने केस बंद किया अब अब यदि मान लिया एफ आई आर एवी ऑनगोइंग प्रोसेस है उसमें आप किसी को गिरफ्तारी के लिए और उसमें खापों का इन्वॉल्वमेंट देखिए ये खाप इन्वॉल्वमेंट इसमें पॉलिटिकल पार्टीज के नेता गए इन्होंने उस उनके केस को और खराब किया है मैं आपको इतना बता दूं मैं एज ए लॉयर में जानता हूं प्रेशर टैक्टिक्स से जुडिशियरी आप कह रहे हैं कि पॉलिटिशियन अच्छा नहीं सर अमिताभ जी अमिताभ जी आपने एक बड़ी बात कही है कि खाप पंचायत को वहां लाकर पॉलिटिशियन को लाकर ये पोलिटिसाइज हो गया है वेरी क्विकली कीर्ति सिंह बिफोर आई गो टू नॉरिस प्रीतम ऑन द स्पोर्टिंग एंगल ड्यू अग्री That bringing in Khap Panchayat, saying we will only listen to what the Khap Panchayat say of Haryana, bringing uh, uh, you know virtually suggesting that even we don't accept what the Supreme Court says, then politicians dive in, especially from the opposition parties. Has that somewhere meant that this entire protest has lost its momentum because you've involved Khap Panchayats, seemingly extra constitutional authorities, politicians coming there has changed the entire nature of what was seen otherwise as a fight for justice of the athletes. Say, so, Rajdeep, if the opposition comes in and if others come in, like the Khap Panchayats mm -hmm. or the Kisan Sabhats or the women's movement, and it's not just one constituent of the women's movement which has come forward, it is women from all over the country. It is the entire movement, all the NGOs, mm -hmm. all the different organizations that have come forward to support the wrestler, wrestlers. And they, they have come forward because mm -hmm. they are outraged. Why can't anybody uh, support? It's just because they belong to a political party, they can't support? That's an absolutely wrong way of thinking. No, no, but the Khap Panchayat cannot decide. The Supreme, the courts, no, no, the courts will party. decide. A Khap Panchayat cannot decide. Ma'am, Khap Panchayats cannot decide. Do you agree no, that a Khap Panchayat cannot decide the, whether the girls have been sexually harassed? That will be decided deciding. by a court. No. No, no, that will be decided uh, by the court and uh, we are not saying that the Khap Panchayat should decide. That is just uh, uh, putting a spin on it. The Khap, uh, Khap Panchayats, if they want to support, they will support. But they are not 
are going to decide the case. The case is obviously being go, be, uh, going to be okay. decided by the court. But I think now a situation has come that if the court doesn't step in and sees that this case is investigated properly, uh, transparently and quickly, then we'll have a situation where no justice will be done. Because then, <clears throat> and I wish... Okay, let me, let me just take that, let me tell you, you're saying, you're worried, you're you worried, know? okay, you're clarifying that, ma'am, okay, you're, you're saying you would have liked the case to be monitored by yeah. the court, Norris Pritham, these are all champion athletes, uh, they've won Olympic medals for the country, do you believe that there are personal agendas here, or do you believe it's time to give some respect to our athletes, it isn't easy for a woman athlete, even if she's an Olympic uh, medal winner or is contested the Olympic, to actually stand up to someone like Bridgebushan Saran Singh. You know Bridgebushan Saran Singh, you know how he's uh, ruled the wrestling federation. Do you believe that it's difficult what the girls have done? They deserve greater empathy, sympathy from other sports persons. Why don't I see more sports persons coming to Jantar Mantar in solidarity with, uh, with the women wrestlers? Uh, Rajdeep, uh, sports nowadays at the present circumstances maybe in the last 10 15 years sports has taken a different channel altogether there are different sports persons i mean if you talk about pt usha milka singh Sriram singh and all those people they were different people they were real sports persons nowadays sports persons if they go for their selection trials to be in the team in the indian team if they go to the courts if they go to the ministry if they go to a minister for favor so where is the way where why do you think the people will come Everybody has an axe to grind. I mean, look look what P.T. Usha said in the first instance. She said, oh, it's indiscipline. I mean, she should have thought 10 times before saying that. So that's why I think the sports persons are not coming because they know right. that the moment, at least uh, the active sports person, the moment they come, they know that they will never be selected in the team. Mm -hmm. They will never get, get promotion. Some of the uh, wrestlers also, they are in police, Haryana police and Punjab police and elsewhere. Do you think a man from UP police will come? I mean, privately, mm -hmm. there are so many sports persons who are telling me, yes, it's very bad with them, this should be done, that should be done. But nobody is coming up because they know that their jobs are also at stake. So no sports person will come for them. Now, another thing is, uh, I have spoken to many mm -hmm. lawyers, you know, some advocates, so, even in, they are saying in media also, oh, it's a POSCO, mm -hmm. my girl, to, he should be immediately arrested. But nobody say it publicly. They, they say it privately. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, it's a clear case for uh, arrest. So but are you why? saying there is a fear factor? Are you saying, are you saying, Norris? Are you saying, Norris? Are you saying, Norris, there is a fear factor that a number of our top sports persons are fearful of taking on the government because if they support the wrestlers, their careers will be on the line or their jobs will be on the line. Is that what you're saying? Yes, yes. And when I say no, it's a case of arrest, I, I'm, no, I'm, not, I'm not a legal head, I'm not a legal mind, I, I don't know law at all, but mm -hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm saying what lawyers have been telling me that, that under POSCO, arrest is first and then the inquiry. But what, this is not happening. So why the law fraternity, the legal mm -hmm. fraternity is also not taking up and supporting them? This is something illegal being held according to them. It's not me saying that. They are saying that the POSCO may right. so arrest yeah. owners. So why are they not coming up? Why only sports persons? The, the common man, the legal uh, uh, people with a legal mind, they should come. Right. You know, you're saying, first of all, the sports persons are too frightened. You're questioning why the legal people are also not speaking out. Amitabh Sina, ये सच्चाई ये है कि ये बड़ा एक तरह से विजबुशन सरन सिंह आज मध्य उत्तर प्रदेश में सेंट्रल उत्तर प्रदेश ही इस ही कंट्रोल्स फोर और फाइव कंस्टिट्यूशंस और डर कहीं क्या बीजेपी को ये है या जो भी सत्ता में है कि हम उसको नाराज नहीं कर सकते इसलिए विजबुशन सरन सिंह को नाराज नहीं करना है डर एक तरफ तो डर स्पोर्� आप मुझे बताइए बजरंग पुनिया तो कल तक आ, 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 कह रहे थे नरेंद्र मोदी जी हमारे नेता है ही इज अ सपोर्टर ऑफ बीजेपी उसको भी एक तरह से आपने किनारे कर दिया है कोई भी मंत्री उसको मिलने भी नहीं जाता है विमेन्स एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट मिनिस्टर स्मृति ईरानी वहां जा सकती थी अनुराग ठाकुर स्पोर्ट्स मिनिस्टर वहां जा सकते थे कोई ना कोई सुलह तो हो सकती है वाई कांट देर बी सम नेगोशिएशन 
कोई तो आपने वहां जाकर लड़कियों को कहना चाहिए आश्वासन देना चाहिए कि हम ये मामला सुलझाएंगे इवन दैट इज नॉट हैपनिंग क्या डर है ब्रिजभूषण शरण सिंह का क्या ताकत है उसकी राजदीप चूंकि आपने मेरा मुझे बार बार पॉलिटिकल क्वेश्चन कर रहे हैं तो मैं थोड़ा सा इसमें आंसर कर दू एक मिनट मैं आंसर कर दू देखिए यदि आप पॉलिटिकली इस बात को एनालाइज कराना चाह रहे हैं मेरे से तो मैं इतना बता दूं कि मैं भी एक एक नॉर्मल इंडियन सिटीजन के नाते में देख रहा हूं कि ये प्रिल्यूड है 2024 के चुनाव का और ये तब तक शायद चलाने की इनकी योजना है कि 2024 में जैसे किसान आंदोलन हुआ था वैसे ही एक खाप पंचायत मिलकर और अपोजिशन पार्टी बहुत सारे प्लान कर रही है उसके हिसाब से इसको इन महिलाओं को और इन खिलाड़ियों को आगे कर आप कह रहे हैं कि कोई राजनीति अब मुझे बोलने दीजिए ना मैंने आपके प्रश्न को सुन लिया हाँ। अब आप कह रहे विनेश फोगात और बजरंग पुनिया को कोई राजनेता आगे कर रहे हैं आप कह रहे हैं एक महीने के लिए वो जंतर मंतर वहां है कोई कोई राजनेता उनको आगे कर रहा है ये आपका आरोप है आप आप वो जिस अखाड़े से आते हैं उस अखाड़े पे दीपेंद्र हुडा और भूपेन्द्र सिंह हुडा का वर्चस्व है और वो पूरा का पूरा ये लड़ाई जो है अखाड़ों की लड़ाई है उसमें यदि ये खाप घूम घुस गए हैं इसमें आप पार्टी के नेता आ गए हैं कांग्रेस के नेता आ गए हैं तो अब आप, आपको ये समझना चाहिए कि आप इतने वरिष्ठ और इतने सुलझे हुए पत्रकार हैं तीस साल से आपको भी मैं जान रहा हूं ये ये इसमें क्या आपको कोई राजनीति नहीं समझ में आ रही यदि आप बगैर एजेंडा के इसको एनालाइज करने की कोशिश करें तो और मैं अब अंत कर, मैं ये बात अपनी बात करके समाप्त करूंगा यदि सुप्रीम कोर्ट ने कोई बात को क्लोज किया है और उसके बावजूद ये स्टेटमेंट आ रहा है कि हम धरना खत्म नहीं करेंगे तो ये तो 2006 में सुकन्या रेप मर्डर जैसे रेप का जो राजीव राहुल गांधी के खिलाफ में जो केस हुआ था 2006 में कि राहुल गांधी ने रेप किया था सुकन्या का उसके बाद भी यदि कोर्ट ने कोई उसके ऊपर में फैसला दिया और उस परिवार का कोई पता नहीं है सुकन्या और सर ये सर आई एम सॉरी देर इज नो सर नो नॉट सर देर इज नो सुकन्या दिस सुकन्या स्टोरी ये सुकन्या स्टोरी है आप इसे मत करिए इस तरह से यू कैन नॉट मेक दिस दिस काइंड ऑफ बेसलेस एलिगेशन कोई सुकन्या ये जो केस है क्या है कोर्ट ने एक बार कोर्ट ने जब एक काम को के ऊपर में एक अपना वर्डिक दे दिया है तो एक स्वाभाविक जो न्यायप्रिय नागरिक है उसको सम्मान करना चाहिए कोर्ट के ना कि उसको आंदोलन करना चाहिए ये रूल ऑफ लॉ के हिसाब से चलेगा यहाँ पर मोबोक्रेसी नहीं okay. चलेगी और यदि और यदि सर आप बार बार कह रहे हैं रूल ऑफ लॉ से करना चाहिए आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इट क्लियर टू आर व्यूअर दीज एलिगेशन हैव नॉट बीन यू नो दीज आर बेसलेस एलिगेशन दैट हैव बीन मेड Without proving uh, 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 Amitabh Sinha, कोई भी every person is innocent till proven guilty. But Norish exactly, Pritham has a final word. But, but, is but, there but, politics? But, but, Amitabh Sinha is saying. Amitabh Sinha is saying these wrestlers. एक मिनट, एक मिनट, sir. These, sir, you have made your point. These wrestlers. Okay, one minute. उन्होंने राजीव सिंह please. एक मिनट कैन वी स्पीक ऑफ या नॉरिज प्रीतम डू यू बिलीव दैट देर इज पॉलिटिक्स इन दिस नो नो कीर्ति सिंह एंड एंड अमिताभ सिन्हा वेट नॉरिज प्रीतम इज देर आर दीज वुमेन एथलीट्स रेस्लर्स नाउ ड्रिवन बाय पॉलिटिक्स इज देर अ पॉलिटिकल एंगल अकॉर्डिंग टू यू और नॉट राजदीप लेसन ये पॉलिटिशियंस मे हैव पुट घी इन टू द फायर राइट बट हू इज इग्नाइटेड द फायर You think the politician went and told we need to sit there and plant all these things? They, because nothing was happening. If 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 action, the police action or the legal action would have been taken in the say the initial one week, nothing. No no politician would have come. There would have been no dharna. Mm -hmm. So to say that politician have done it, no, absolutely wrong. So because yours? I know these wrestlers personally very well. They are far away from politicians. If they had been into politics, they would not have been a sports person. They have no time for such things. I mean, you have to to be a world champion, to be an Olympic medalist, to be a Asian Games champion. You have to work 20, 365 days, 24 hours all the time. They are in training. They don't think about it. Yes, politicians like most other people. They are maybe they are also taking advantage of the fact that these people are sitting there and they are getting mileage. That's right. They I understand, and it happens all over the world, just not in India, everywhere, okay. in every situation. But to say that politicians have instigated them to do this, I don't agree with it. Okay, and I will treat that as the word of someone who has tracked these athletes and Olympic sport for years. It's a word that I will trust, and I, it's a word, therefore, that I will ask you, the viewers, to decide: who do we trust more, Olympic athletes or? a member of parliament who in the past has had serious cases against him a tada detainee once who has self confessed to a crime who do you trust yes we must trust the rule of law but will the rule of law act in a non partisan manner will they ensure at least that there is a fair and transparent inquiry those who make 
slogans about gender justice, they should ask themselves these questions. Why are you not standing up with those who seem to be the victims here rather than the person who's accused of being the perpetrator? It's for you, the people of India, to ask these hard questions of our ruling class. But I thank my guests for joining me here on the news today.